This book, Empire of Pain, The Secret History of the Sattler Dynasty by Patrick Keefe, is better than the Golden Globe Primetime Emmy Peabody Award and Critics' Choice Award nominated miniseries Dope Sick, which is based on this book. Now it is better than the not one, not two, but three episodes based on it by John Oliver in Last Week Tonight. The book is almost 500 pages long, but reads so easy that I think anybody and everybody should read it. Patrick Keefe, who is the author, also writes for The New Yorker and has received many awards for political writing and investigative journalism. Why is this book important for psychologists, psychiatrists, and mental health professionals? For three main reasons. Firstly, it's about how one family amassed over 14 billion US dollars in wealth and it all started with psychiatry. Three brothers who were psychiatrists and who looked for an antipsychotic silver bullet that would help keep patients out of mental hospitals and asylums and put an end to lobotomy, the oldest of whom was Arthur Sackler. That's what this book is about. He had a medical advertising agency that was contracted by Roche Pharmaceuticals to develop an advertising strategy for this drug called Valium. But the problem was that Valium worked almost like Librium. Both of, this, both of these products were Roche products. So Arthur Sackler created a new problem that he called psychic tension, something like today's stress. It was slightly more somatic than uh, typical anxiety as it was known to others. And he then created and sold Valium as a cure for this psychic te tension. In short, his marketing agency created indications that were differentiated from Librium for Valium. This campaign strategy was such a hit that Valium became America's most widely prescribed medication, the first to reach more than $100 million in sales. So this book is about the seduction of doctors by medical representatives via such agencies. But secondly, it's also about how greed gets its way and about how the Sacklers got away with murder. Their net worth can compare to Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar's, except that the Sacklers sold drugs with FDA approvals and prescriptions via licensed medical professionals to unsuspecting patients who were in chronic pain, promising them this pain-free existence. The sales reps hit it out the ballpark. Finally, this book is about Arthur Sackler and his legacy. He's considered the father of medical advertising and the book gives you a deeper understanding into the marketing side of medicines, nepotism in publishing, and the inner workings of the companies that quote doctors with the ardor of a spring love affair. In the words of Charles May, a well-known professor at Columbia Medical School, an unwholesome entanglement exists between the people who prescribe medications and those who make and market them. How do pharmaceutical companies, advertising companies, and big data companies that sell fine-grained information about the daily, monthly, yearly prescribing habits of physicians bend the truth and create a market where there is none? This book reads fact after fact with sources so that you can fact check at will as I did. In fact, I went down a rabbit hole of fact checking because it's hard for me to take something at face value and especially because I've seen medications really help and they do, except when they don't. This book is the evidence that makes regulatory agencies look bad. It puts the onus of responsibility on the consumer even in such things as drugs. It made it to Obama's favorite books of 2021 and I can see why. Although many doctors would claim that they do not get swayed by pharmaceutical reps, that's not what the science says. A 2016 study has shown that even a single meal valued at USD 20 or 1500 rupees can change the way doctors prescribe, which is the model that pharmaceuticals work on because they assured a good return on their investment. I took a 10 day leave of absence from my work at a silent retreat and read this book start to finish. I recommend the book to mental health professionals, but especially to prescribing physicians and anyone interested in nonfiction. There's an affiliate link to the book below. I look forward to reviewing the next book I'd like to recommend. Until then, happy trails to you.